first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting five out of five or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos so friends now in this video number 22 on the data interpretation mains level question so here we are going to solve a question that is based on a concept of average right because they have given a iphone android mobile sold iphone windows mobile sold so three different mobiles and all the values are in terms of average value has been given two product average two product average two product average so very important question and these kind of questions you can able to see widely on many clerk level mains exam rrb clerk mains ibbs clerk mains lic mains exam so you can able to see these kind of da like framing an equation initially so what we need to do is we need to frame an equation x plus y, y plus z, z plus x, x plus y plus z and then we have to make it as equation 1 and similarly you have to frame three different equations and we have to solve all the three different equations and we need to get what is the value of x, what is the value of y and what is the value of z and then we have to frame a new tabular column only after that you have to solve the five question based upon this DA. And this concept you can able to see why many times widely on many of the bank mains exam as well as on many of the cat exams also the same concept you can able to see on the set theory also I don't know whether you remember it or not we have solved many questions that is based on a set theory on an equation module some values will be given on the set theory and some values will not be given so what we did is we frame an equation x plus y plus z plus some value is equals to total and framing this part one equation framing this part one equation so totally we will get three equation and then we will solve all the three equation and then we find what is the value of x what is the value of y what is the value of z and then after finding it we apply in this set theory only after knowing all the values in a set theory we will solve the question so I, I don't know whether you remember it or not but in my youtube channel on teaching set theory concept i have thought this right framing a equation and then after framing a equation we should know how to simplify it and only after that we have to solve the question so this kind of module you can able to see more on the recent year bank exams so i hope you have taken the test right i don't know whether you have got five out of five but if you can't able to solve it initially how to proceed to solve these kind of questions so kindly understand the concept right that is most important it's a very simple concept so just look at the chart so the given below uh, average cumulative average of the number of three different mobile phones so they have given an average value for example when you take jan month so jan month android and iphone so total sold is 350 which means the average has been given so what we can do is either you can keep android as it is or else keep it android as x because some students might make a mistake that's the reason i'm saying so keep android as x iphone as y and the windows as z and then frame a equation why because initially they have given average for 222 right so first they are given for android and ios 
so android and iphone x plus y so for this the average has been given which is 350 so average divided by 2 right so android plus iphone divided by 2 will be average which is equals to 350 so we can take it as x plus y is equals to 350 into 2 which will be 700 so now 700 is what 700 will be the total mobile phone that was sold on the month of january these two mobiles alone right which is android and iphone so similarly we have to take all the remaining also we should not consider only this value why because it is android and iphone similarly we have these two we have these two so find an equation write an equation and find a value for everything right so second column is for iphone and window so iphone is how much y windows is how much Z. So total average what they have given is 336. So 336 will be average. So divided by 2. So here into 2 which will be 772 right. 772. So 12 1 7 3 2 are 6. Just a minute. 672. Right? 672 will be the total number of, of iPhone as well as Windows sold on the month of January. So similarly windows plus android so z plus x so third value what they have given us 302 so they have given 302 into 2 will be 604 so now what we got is we framed the equation and we got x plus y y plus z z plus x let me find the total right we can add all the values so x and x will be 2x y and y will be 2y z and z will be 2 z is equals to the total 4 plus 6 7 so 6 12 12 plus 7 will be 19 1 9 7 6 so take 2 outside so x plus y plus z is equals to 1 9 7 6 divided by 2 so this will be 9 2 are 18 remaining will be 1 17 8 2 are 16 remaining will be 1 again 8 2 are 16 so x plus y plus z is equals to 988 so friends now what we got is so this value they have not given in the chart they have given only the average so now what we found is in the month of january right in the month of january the total mobile phone sold will be 988 that is android ios and then windows so total mobile phone sold in the month of january alone is 988 and now it is easy to find the windows alone iphone alone and android alone why because we know x plus y x plus y is what 700 so we know x plus y will be 700 and the last will be z which is windows phone is equals to 988 so z is equals to 988 minus 700 will be 200 so 288 so 288 is what 288 will be the total number of windows phone that is sold on the month of january so similarly find for the remaining stuff so y plus z y plus z is how much 672 so x plus 672 is equals to 988 so once you subtract it you will get the value of an android mobile so similarly for the next value that is y we know x plus z x plus z is what 604 so x plus z will be 604 so plus y is equals to 988 so when you subtract 988 minus 604 you will get what is the total number of iphone that is sold in the month of january so now we got value of x value of y and value of z so after knowing all the value solving a question is very simple because we know every month right every mobile phone how much it is sold so if you know all the value solving all the five questions based upon this da will be very simple but initially it takes more number of time and right? you have to be little bit fast on the calculation what we found is only for jan month right so the value of x y z what we found is only for the january month alone so now what you need to do is you need to find for the remaining stuff for example uh, in the month of february we need to find it and uh, just a minute yes february we need to find and then march april may so totally they have given five different months for all the five different months you have to find this x y z value separately right what is the total number of mobile phone iphone sold windows sold and then android sold so once you find it solving a question is easy so what i do is i will show you the table chart 
after finding all the values right i will i will uh, display the table chart here so kindly look at the table chart and check whether you are you are also getting the same answer or not in case if you are getting the same answer try to solve all the five questions the uh, uh, test also i have given the solution right so check, cross check with your answer so so once you find it definitely five question will be easy i think so why because all the five question they have asked it's very simple let, let let's see what are all the questions they have asked based upon this chart right so i have only questions here so okay even if you take like 15 minutes maximum you should solve within 15 minutes right that's the target so make sure to initially take time initially it might take nearly 10 minutes surely will take 10 minutes to find all the values right jan month everything so i think after finding all the values in 10 minutes solving all the five question based upon this day is very simple just look at the first question in the month of fifth the unsold mobile in android iphone window will be 20 percent they find the total number of mobile phone purchased by the seller in february so what they are saying is unsold will be 20 percentage so if unsold is 20 percentage then 80 percentage right so 80 percentage will be the sold mobile and we already found what is the total number of sold mobile in the month of january so according to the chart in the month of january 316 so 316 is the total number of uh, uh, Android mobile that is sold in the month of January and that is 80 percentage why because 20 percentage is unsold so by using that value you can easily find what is that uh, unsold mobile phones uh, what total number of purchased by the seller it is easy to find that value because once you find the 80 percentage then finding for all the remaining stuff is easy so first one 315 okay so answer is 1227 very simple question and what is the next question find the difference between some some of the total number of android mobile sold on the all the months together so just we need to add other android mobile as well as we need to add the windows mobile and we need to find the difference right so according to the chart you can add all the android as well as windows and then you can find the difference so this is the second question so what about the third one the sum of total number of mobile phones sold in the month of Jan and Feb together is, <coughs> is what percentage more or less? So more or less, what percentage more or less? So if it is what percentage more or less, then the formula will be X minus Y divided by Y into 100. So now what they are saying is total number of mobile phones that is sold in the month of Jan and Feb. So Jan and Feb we have to add the total. So to that of we need to compare with android mobiles on all the month so all the month android mobile we need to compare with that so the comparison part always should comes in the denominator never forget it right so answer is 32.8 something so what about the fourth question so in the in june month the total number of mobile phones sold was 25 percentage more than the previous month so the average number of was android and windows sold is 382 find the number of iphone mobile sold so what they are saying is 25 percentage more than the previous month so what we need to do is the previous month we have to consider it as 100 percentage and that this month that is july month we june month we have to consider it as 125 percentage because 25 percentage more so find what is 100 percentage and we know the average so it is easy just to find the total minus of both the mobile sold when you subtract it you will you will get the number of iphone mobile sold alone very simple so next question find the ratio between the sum of total mobile sold from the jan to march and sum of total mobile sold april to may just we need to add the values right so april may together we have to add it and then we have to add jan and march month jan to march month so and then we have to find the answer right so i think uh, easy questions right all the five are easy not that much difficult to solve so uh, the thing here is initially it takes more number of time to definitely it takes more number of time to find out the values but remember one thing first time alone you have to write the equation like that x plus y so once you know the logic for the second we found january month properly 
what you need to do is in the month of February directly write what is x plus y plus z. So go all the values with mind calculation. So only you can able to find out the initial value within 5 to 10 minutes. Right? So I think all the 5 questions are easy and I will give the solution also in the test series. Because many students recently asked that they need a solution also in the test series. So I will give the solution also there. Right? So the proper solution will be given. But, uh, but try to understand how we are framing that equation part. That is most important because the same part you can able to see on the set theory also. What I have initially told you. Right? So, so friends, that's it about this video, right? So I hope you have taken the test. So kindly again and again, I'm saying take the test first. So only if you take the test, you can able to understand the mistakes and your time management, everything. So kindly write the test first and then come and watch this video. So friends, thank you so much for watching it. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.